hello friends uh, this is uh, the basics of biology tutorials and this is the unit number 4 and the video number 2 about the genetics and in this video we are particularly we will be looking at uh, the dihybrid cross or the law of independent assortment uh, suggested by the Gregor John Mendel okay. now what is independent assortment actually the independent uh, assortment uh, means the inheritance pattern of one trait will not affect the inheritance pattern of other trait another trait for example if uh, what are traits actually traits means the expression the phenotypic expression of a particular uh, gene, gene right so for example suppose uh, we are talking about a trait of color uh, flower color say so the color could be white it could be pink so now the trait uh, is uh, color in this case uh, and choose another trait and it is uh, for example uh, the smell of the flower one is having a sweet smell another one is having no smell at all so these two things are uh, two different traits one is the color another one is the smell now uh, the, the inheritance pattern of these two traits will not uh, influence one another so they will be transferred independently or they will assort it independently during the gamete formation and uh, the zygote uh, and, and, and the for future steps okay so independent assortment occurs during meiosis as we know because during the meiosis uh, only the gametes are formed so during this gamete formation uh, the independent assortment of those characteristics are happen so none of those characteristics will uh, uh, influence uh, other characteristic in this case for a single human gamete for example the possible way of chromosome for assort in different ways 2 to the power 23 because suppose for one chromosome so we have 23 uh, number of uh, sets of chromosome now uh, so if we are talking about two different traits then uh, the way of assortment will be uh, that much possible combinations sorry it's a huge number right so we can see how much complicated all these matters really are but uh, this is the basic concept that if you are dealing with two different traits two or more uh, than two different traits one uh, will not influence another but uh, this is according to Gregor John Mendel at that time but uh, later times it was proved that uh, the trait can influence one another and we are uh, we'll be looking at those videos those uh, topics too and those are called uh, the non mendelian inheritance we will be looking at those now uh, let us talk about the dihybrid cross because we need to understand dihybrid cross for understanding this uh, independent assortments so in snapdragons for snapdragons are flowers in this case the tallness is caps t is a dominant and dwarfness is small t which is a recessive trait now while red color is due to the gene caps r which is the dominant one and white color is because of the small r which is a recessive one again now heterozygous condition results in pink flowers a dwarf pink snapdragon is crossed with a white plant homozygous for tallness and red flowers give the possible genotype of the corresponding offspring so suppose now in this case we have talked before that they will not influence one another so if we are dealing with uh, tallness so tallness can be achieved by these two types so this one can be tall this one can also be tall red if you talk about red the same thing happens two caps r or one caps r one small r this could be uh, again red okay but if you're talking about small t small t that means uh, dwarf uh, small r small r means white now here another important thing is suggested that if uh, the this this uh, tall red color uh, is crossed with uh, again another tall uh, white color it will produce a flower which is pink now according to the Mendel's Mendelian inheritance pattern we cannot justify the answer because according to him uh, this white color and red color will not influence with each other influence each other so now he, we can see they are mixed with each other okay uh, now here so determine the genotypes of the parents like for example a dwarf pink snapdragon that means a dwarf pink means double t uh, double small t and pink means caps are smaller uh, is uh, with a with a it's crossed with a plant with homozygous for tallness and red so homozygous for tall means both capital t and both capital r 
Now, if those things are crossed, then what will be the possible outcomes for the gametes and how the zygotes will be formed? Now, here, if we think about the possible gamete formation from this one, what will, what will be the result? Small t, caps R, small t, small r. So, these two possibilities are actually here. So, small t, caps R, small t, small r, and again, small t, caps R, and small t, small r. In case of homozygous tall and red, we are having only one uh, gamete uh, can be formed. One types of possibility is there. There's caps T and caps R only. So all of them will be caps T and caps R. Now let us move on to the Punnett square and look at uh, how the zygotes will form in this case. Because in, in Punnett square, what we're dealing with, we're dealing with in both sides, which we are talking about only gametes. But at the middle, we're looking at the zygotes because the gametes will combine with each other to produce the zygotes. Now here, uh, the gametes from uh, the tall red plants are all caps T caps R and in case of gametes in pink plants these are the uh, possibilities. So what will be the results actually? So in this case caps T small t caps R small r uh, sorry caps R caps R in this case caps T small t uh, caps R caps R so this is how uh, just combining all these things end up with something like that okay now let us move on and say the identification of the phenotypes of the offspring now this is uh, is very important so the tall red uh, means here caps t a small t will be tall and cap this is this one is a tall red this one is another tall red this one is another tall red tall red uh, this is also tall red so tall red characteristics are really higher so these eight are tall red sorry 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 no, no, this this will be not the tall red. These are the tall pink. Sorry, these are these are tall reds. So this four and this four. So this will be the tall reds. Okay. Now if we look at the tall pink, then uh, this four, this cross are tall pinks, and this is also tall pink, tall pink, tall pink, and tall pink. These are the answers. Rest of them, tall white will be zero, short red will be zero, short pink will be zero, and short white will be zero. So, the, among these eight, uh, sixteen uh, offsprings, the phenotypes are varying from tall red or tall pink. Uh, nothing in, uh, in like the tall white or short white, short red, tall red, and whatever uh, short red and uh, short pink are uh, not produced by by this uh, cross. Okay, so that's it. And I hope it will help you.